<laughs> and check this out people that the freezer movements here and here's all the unionists walking past us now here's all the unionists come on Keith fire it up to this lad lad Don't hear you. Don't hear you. Like a bit closer to your mouth. Don't hear you. Shush, Carl. Fucking hell. I decided to stop everything. Water, gas, electric. Be closer. And I took it all. And the whole idea is it was 18 minutes ago. I came across. The bill when we were locked down for two, yeah, the first lockdown that we had, and they billed me £113 for 62 and 08 even then, and that's what raised the alarms for me to say, you know what, I'm going to do something about this, but it takes courage. And I do know that there's lots of people that are already doing this and have been doing this for a long time. I do know that people are sitting on the fence, feeling a bit afraid. I know, I thought that would be more. I'm going to be afraid. No Gallagher. Because it's made me take back my rights, give me confidence to stand up to these corporations. Well said, what girl. We are, believe it or not, we are a corporation. We are run by corporations. You can't breathe. You've got a right to you, the right of you. We're charging you tax, unlawful tax. And I'm going to lay foundation here. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be laying foundation and I'm going to go back to the Queen because this is what made me realise about the word extortion and the tax, okay? So in 1953, this was the Queen, the coronation, that all collection of revenue is passed as extortion and extortion has been held reprehensible since ancient times. Okay, I'm going to break that down for you, so what does that mean? Collection of revenue is your taxes of the local and the biggest one is your energy and this is probably why we're here today. We need to focus on that because what's going to be coming in the next few months is down to you guys. There's two timelines running here. You have to decide which one you need to be on. The one where you're going to be controlled and told what to do like we have been since time began. Or you're going to step outside the matrix, you're going to empower yourself and you are going to stand up to these corporations who say no more. Because this is what I did. And 18 months down the line, I would never in a million years thought I'd be standing here and advising or just giving people advice and help. Because the thing that you do need to lose is the fear. And when the penny drops and you do lose the fear, you gain confidence that you can stand up to these people. Oh, the leaflets get Nanza's out here, look. The energy bit. Now your energy. We do not supply you with your energy. Oh, fucking right. They do supply you with fraudulent statements telling you that you owe us this. They are based on estimates. They estimate that we owe them this, Why well, I estimate I owe you CFA, right? Because at the end of the day, you are a corporation, you do not supply us with any energy. They have a national grid where they have a contract with the government. We, I don't have to pay for energy, it's all free. And this was part of an agreement when they took off the government. Hey, that crowd's just and put on about an extra minutes. third. They gave us free energy, but guess what? The corporation starts with them, and how can we get more money to extortion? But this is what the Queen said collection of revenue is massive extortion. So, why is the government being allowed for them to get taxes from us? We are taxed in high heaven at every angle, in every aspect of our life. So, 18 months ago, I decided to take it on, and what I've done is I've found out a lot. So what I'm going to tell you guys is when you do get your letters, which you probably get more of them now, just don't entertain it, just put it aside. Because what I learned is if you take that on, you're going to worry, you're going to be stressing, it's going to take over, it's going to interfere with your job, and your home, there's going to be arguments, it's going to be stressed, it's not worth it. So what I did was I looked at it and thought, yeah, okay. So I put it in the job. Sometimes you can... How can I say it? Sometimes you can ring up... Sometimes you can answer the phone, you can engage into contracts with them because at the end of the day there is no contract because you won't be having bailiffs, would you? So what they do is they try and say that you owe us this when they eat old. What they do is they have bills, like, like uh, brokers, they have these buildings, you've got all these different names, 
And they say they supply you with your gas and electric when they don't. Because why is everything estimated and why do they expect you to give uh, numbers every month? You're doing their job for them. And that means that they'll go, right, okay, so this is what you're using. We're going to tax them. You're going to pay us. You're going to owe us this. But you don't owe us sweet FA. At the end of the day, all you need to do is take a power number by standing up to these people. So what you do is when you do get the letters, what I did, and this is my personal experience, I just put the letters in a drawer and then when I found out I did need to sort it out, there are ways of dealing with it. You are not going to get anywhere by speaking to the people here. They don't understand you. Once you stop paying your bills and you start learning, and I have to say this, it's the research. You've got to do the research. Oh, there are so many people that have got information out there, all on this aspect, you've got your mortgages, you've got your council tax, you've got your credit cards, you've got your energy bills, right? We, we're all there and we all know this information, right? So if you ever feel like you're sitting on the fence and you really do need to not pay this and you really need to find that confidence and drop a fear, well this is what you do. You find the information with the research, but the research will tell you a lot. The research for me told me what I mean in this system. I am just a corporation, I am a money maker, I am collateral, and without me, what, what, what does the system have? Without you paying all these bills, what does the system have? So if we stop paying our energy bills, and it's because at the end of the day, right, we don't need to pay our energy bills. It's hard to try and understand that concept, but you get this from your research. Claude's and your research and show. Yeah. Claude's you and and show. And what you are, and when you realise that, you have to spend a penny. Just there, just well, ends it. Probably walk down from up there. The oh, the yeah. They have to try and store money from you in some way to keep it going, and they need you. And you are all slaves. We are all slaves to this system that is so corrupt, and it is breaking. While this system is breaking.